Hello and welcome to the Link Crew News, brought to you by Bird Church High School, the proud home of the Chargers. I am Alice Thwaites. And I am Tristan Derrick. Both of us are proud members of our Bird Church School community. We also represent the Link Crew made up of a group of 85 students here to help you with your transition into high school. We are excited to welcome you to Bird Church High School for what we expect will be a fantastic year for you. Bird Church High School was opened in 1982. It is named after Bertram Cecil Church, a local homesteader. In four years, when you graduate, you will receive a yellow rose, a tradition that was started by his wife, Alexa, who personally handed them out until she passed away at age 106. As Chargers, you will be expected to bring your best efforts to school every single day. You will figure out very quickly that we want you to be yourself and not to try to be like someone else. Burt Church is a very busy place with so much to offer. Follow your passion and take an interest in your school. Every day you will have the opportunity to be kind to someone, and this is when so many strong friendships are built. It is also a time to make a very important investment in yourself, and yes, this starts in grade 9. Now, we are off to one of our many live reports of the day with Denithi, who is standing by with our first teacher. Take it away, Denithi. Thank you, guys. I'm Denithi Moodler, speaking with our first grade 9 teacher of the day. Can you please tell us your name and what grade, uh, grade 9 courses that you teach? I'm Mrs. Bellavo and I'll be teaching grade 9 math. Okay. Do you sponsor or coach any clubs or teams at the school? I do your book. Awesome. Uh, is there something you could tell us about yourself? You can't tell because I'm sitting down, but I'm actually quite short. Um, however, in high school I was even shorter, so short that I had to wear Spice Girl sized um, platform shoes in order to reach the gas pedals in my car. <laughs> what is the best thing about Bird Church or something that our grade 9 should look forward to? It's definitely the people. The staff and the students here are just so kind and good-hearted um, that you'll really look forward to seeing them every day. Awesome. Uh, who has been your role model and why? Um, for sure my mom. She's just the most patient person um, that I've met. Plus she can bake. Oh, really good. That's cool. Um, thank you, Ms. Bellavo. Uh, now back to our anchor desk. Thank you, Denithi, for introducing us to Ms. Bellavo. Let's head out to Grace and meet our next teacher. Thank you, Alice and Tristan. Uh, can you please tell us your name and what grade 9 courses you teach? I'm Mr. Lucas and I teach language arts for grade 9. Uh, do you sponsor or coach any clubs or teams in the school? I help out with the football team. I'm not the head coach, but uh, I help out. Okay, perfect. Uh, is there something you could share about yourself with us? Well, when I was younger, I used to work for the Stampede, and I gave tours, I greeted buses. One of the weirdest things to happen in my life was to find myself jumping on a Greyhound bus several times a day and getting one half of the bus, like one side to yell yee and the other side to yell ha, which I didn't think would actually work, but surprisingly with uh, a lot of elder Americans, there's a lot of enthusiasm for that kind of thing. Yeah, it's a stampede. Everyone's excited. Uh, what's the best thing about Bird Church uh, for our grade nines to look forward to? Well, I don't know about the best thing, but uh, there are a lot of good things. One of the best things is uh, participating in teacher versus student sports activities, such as the hockey game. Uh, if it happens next year, I would encourage people to either play or to come and watch. Yeah. Yes, the hockey games are always fun to go to. Uh, so who has been a role model for you in the past year? Um, I've been at home. Uh, obviously, like a lot of us, my 10-year-old daughter, Alexandra, has the best attitude. She's managed being at home and not being able to do the stuff she normally does probably better than anybody in my family, so I have to give it to her. Yes. Uh, thank you, Mr. Lucas. Now back to our anchor desk. Let's head out to Matt, standing by with another staff member. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Miss Hoffman. So what do you teach here at Bird Church? I am the learning support teacher for grade 9s and grade 11s. Do you do anything extra for the Bird Church? I am part of the Link Crew team. Perfect. Is there something you could share with us about yourself? Um, my favorite holiday is Christmas. I enjoy the lights and eating all the good food. What is something about Bird Church that's special that you can tell about your great friend? Um, I like the fact that our, or how dedicated our teachers and students are to the extracurricular. Um, we all put in a lot of dedication and time and uh, it's something to definitely get involved with next year. Who has been a role model for you for this past year and why? Uh, this past year, um, Shelly Moore. Um, she's big in the inclusive education world and she's helped me um, with my programming for students. Um, yeah. Thank you, Ms. Hoffman, and back to you guys. 
let's head out to Grace and meet our next teacher. Thank you, Alice and Tristan. Uh, can you please tell us your name and what grade nine courses you teach? Uh, I'm Mr. Goodyear, and I teach drama nine. Uh, do you sponsor or coach a club or team at our school? Yeah, I do all the extracurricular drama performances at our school, and I'm also part of the GSA. Um, is there something fun you could share with us about yourself? About myself? Um, I am a huge Wicked the Musical fan. I've seen the show six times <laughs> all across the globe. Uh, what's the best thing about Birch Church that our grade nines can look forward to? Um, I mean, I love the drama program a whole bunch, uh, but I'm going to have to get up to our administration team because they're fantastic people. Uh, who's been a role model for you in this past year and why? In this past year, I'm actually going to say, this is full, full truth, um, our principal, Mr. Reed, has been a role model for me. Um, he's just been an outstanding guy and I've been able to look up to him as an educator and as a mentor. Yeah, he's done a great job keeping this whole thing running during quarantine. Heck yes, he has. So thank you, Mr. Goodyear. Of now course. back to our anchor desk. We would like to introduce you to our principal, Mr. Reed. Uh, thank you for joining us. Absolutely. Um, can you tell us something about yourself? Well, uh, I think something of interest to incoming grade 9 students is this is my third time at Burt Church. First time was as a student, second time was as a teacher, and third time as a principal. So I have a deep connection to the school. Why did you become a principal? Um, I think I think it was a good match for my skill set, and I really enjoyed working with kids. And I think um, the more as you move up in a school and you move into a system principal or principal role, the scope of your influence expands, and so you get to have lots of impact. I've got lots of opinions and lots of thoughts, so I might as well get to enact some of them as a principal. Uh, what message would you like to convey to our Bird Church class of twenty twenty four? Well, I, I think uh, it's probably something that's been echoed by a lot of uh, other teachers, but uh, high school is certainly an experience that it, you get out of it what you put in. And uh, there's so many good students and so many cool opportunities for kids. As a student at Burt Church in the 90s, I would have loved to have all the opportunities that kids have now. And I think uh, it's, it's what you put into it. And so if I sometimes will say to kids, if you can either be part of the problem or part of the solution, and uh, I'm an optimistic person, and I think optimism is a good thing to have coming into high school. And you look at all the opportunities that exist for a kid at Birch Church High School and all the different things that they can get involved in. So that would be my encouragement to grade nines coming in, is uh, make the best of your time here. Don't be in a hurry to get out. Uh, the real world is kind of hard. <laughs> you got to work. you got to, you know, be, be responsible. You don't, if you're late for something, you might not just get a pass on it like you do in high school. So uh, enjoy your time here and uh, put in what you can, uh, what you want to get out of it. Oh, well, thank you so much, Mr. Reed. Thank you for your time. Let's head out to Grace and meet our next teacher. Uh, thank you, Alice and Tristan. Uh, can you please tell us your name and what grade nine courses you teach? Uh, my name is Ms. Jans and I teach all grade nine English this year. Uh, is there something you could share with us about yourself? Uh, this is my fourth year at Bird Church. I came from a small town school and I'm originally from the Yukon. Uh, what's the best thing about Bird Church? Something that our grade nines can look forward to? The best thing about Bird Church is flex, the flex block that we have the opportunity to see any teacher you want and do anything that you want. It, you can meditate, you can color, draw, you can learn to crochet, you can go to boot camp, <laughs> or you can go see your teachers for support. Uh, who's been a role model for you in the past year? I'd say it's more recent. Um, all the young people standing up, speaking, um, being heard, attending rallies, signing petitions, just being incredibly involved and active in their communities. Uh, thank you, Ms. Jans. Now back to our anchor desk. Looks like it's time to meet another teacher with Denithi. Thank you, guys. I'm back with our next grade nine teacher. Can you please tell us your name and what courses you teach? I'm Mrs. Chapman, and I teach foods grade nine through 12. Awesome. Uh, is there something you could share with us about yourself? Well, uh, I've been an English teacher for the first portion of my life, but uh, three years ago I went to SAIT and took professional cooking, and uh, that has helped me to become a, a better foods teacher. That's awesome. Uh, what's the best thing about Bird Church, or something that our grade nines should look forward to? There's so much to love here. This room, for instance, <laughs> working right beside the lake, and uh, yeah, we're just, it's staff, students, everybody's great. Awesome. Um, and who has been your role model for the past uh, year and why? Uh, well, I would actually think that Mr. McCreel has been my role model. He's one of our assistant principals and he has been very good at helping me through difficult times and giving me advice on things that I need. 
Oh, help with us. That's awesome. Thank you, Mrs. Chapman. Now back to our anchor desk. Let's head out to Matt, standing by with another staff member. Thanks, Allison Tristan. I'm here with Mr. Burns. So what do you teach here at Bird Church? I teach German here at Bird Church. Do you do anything extra for the school? Uh, for extracurricular, I am one of the teachers that helps supervise the uh, Fit Center. Is there something you can tell about yourself to Great Nights? Um, if anything interesting, I guess you could say uh, I've been to Germany 17 times. <laughs> what is the best thing about Bird Church that you can tell at Great Nights? Uh, it's kind of hard to pinpoint, but there's a really cool energy and atmosphere about this building that, I don't know, it just draws you, just, you just enjoy being here. Who is a role model for you for this past year and why? Um, that one I'd actually say is a little bit tricky, but uh, I think in hindsight over the past couple months, I'd actually have to say my uh, great-grandparents, who I knew, uh, just because they are the embodiment of resiliency. They basically um, lived through World War I, Spanish flu, uh, the Great Depression, World War II, everything and everything and stuff like that, and they were able to just keep on going. Thank you, Mr. Burns. And now back to you guys. We would like to welcome our next guest. Thanks for joining us today. Could you please introduce yourself and tell us your role in the Bird Church community? My name is Constable Jason Sherbel. I'm a member of the RCMP and I'm the Airdrie School Resource Officer. Um, I cover 27 schools around Airdrie, approximately 20,000 students, um, and everybody just calls me Jay, so you can call me Jay. What message would you like to convey to our incoming students? Incoming students, I am jealous and happy to see what everybody's going to be getting into. Right now, the students are at a point in their lives where they can do absolutely anything they want. Uh, I've done presentations in front of future prime ministers, future lawyers, doctors, police officers, teachers, and I'm jealous about the adventure that they're about to embark on. If a student needs to speak with you, how would they go about contacting you? Uh, the best way to get a hold of me is uh, I do have a work cell phone number that the administrators of the school will have, the principals, the admins, and stuff like that. Uh, if not, they've also got my email address, and uh, whether phone or email, if you see me walking up the street, yell, hey, Jay, and I'll stop and talk with you, and uh, if you see me in the school, come talk to me. Thank you so much for coming to speak to us today, Jay. Looks like it's time to meet another teacher with Grace. Thank you, Allison Tristan. So, can you please tell us your name and what grade 9 courses you teach? You bet. I'm Miss Williams, and I teach social studies. Uh, do you sponsor or coach a club or team at our school? I do. Football. Uh, is there, what do you do on the football team? So I'm actually the operations manager, so I do a lot of paperwork and keep track of things for them. Uh, is there something you could share with us about yourself? Um, well, being a social studies teacher, I really care about the environment, so just recently I bought my first pair of shoes that were made from plastic recovered from the ocean. That's so cool! Uh, what's the best thing about Bird Church that our grade 9 class could look forward to? I love the fact that people care about each other in this school. That no matter where you go, there's people who want to make sure that you are doing great and are going to celebrate your accomplishments. I totally agree. So, uh, who has been a role model for you in this past year? You know, lately uh, I have been reading Michelle Obama's book. And I love Michelle Obama because she says when people go low, I'm going to go high. Uh, thank you, Ms. Williams. Now back to our anchor desk. Let's head out to Matt, standing by with another staff member. Thank you, Allison Tristan. So I'm here with Mr. Larson. So what do you teach in grade 9? Uh, I teach grade 9 science. Perfect. Do you do anything extra for the school? Uh, I help coach football. Um, that's it. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I did coach basketball. I did help with that. So. Yeah. <laughs> Is there something you can tell about yourself? Um, it's a little known fact about me, but I actually don't have a sense of smell. When I was uh, a kid, last time I tried riding a dirt bike, I tried to do this like evil Knievel thing off a ramp, and I hit my head. Yeah, I actually have been able to smell since I was 14. <laughs> what is the best thing about Burt Church that you can tell our grade nines about? Uh, I think the best thing about Burt Church is our students. I think they work really hard and they do a really good job of taking care of each other. So, yeah, I'm happy to be here. Who has been a role model for you in this past year? Um, well, the past year? I'd say uh, Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Um, it's really impressive to see where he's come from, right? When he had, not, he only had seven dollars, I think, when he got cut from the Stampeders, and now he's very successful, and he gives back a lot to his community and stuff. So it's great. Thank you, Mr. Larson. And yeah, back to you. Allison Tristan. Looks like it's time to meet another teacher with Denithi. Thank you, guys. I'm here with Mr. Welsh. Uh, Mr. Welsh, can you tell us uh, what grade nine courses you teach? I'd be glad to. I teach social studies nine, in addition to social studies at the grade ten and eleven levels. 
I also teach some accounting courses and some IT computer courses. Awesome. Uh, do you sponsor or coach any clubs at the school? Well, this past season I helped co-coach the uh, girls soccer team who won the ASAA championship back in October. That's awesome. Uh, is there something you could tell us about yourself? Oh, well, let's see. For all of you folks, I've been here longer than you've been alive, so <laughs> I'm kind of a fixture in this building and I'm still reveling in it every day. <laughs> oh my uh, what's the best thing about Burt Church or something our grade nine should look forward to? The best thing about Burt Church is the people in Burt Church. They're very supportive, they're very honest, they're very welcoming. Awesome. And who has been your role model for the past year? Well, I'd be uh, amiss if I didn't say Dr. Dina Henshaw, who's led us through this pandemic this year uh, in quite the fashion. There have been some politicians, too, who've stood off my mind, like Doug Ford in Ontario. So you got to really admire the people who've taken leadership roles and last a while here in Canada. For sure. There's Thank my you. social studies oh. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wells. You're welcome. Uh, now back to our anchor desk. Our next report comes to us from Liam. Take it away, Liam. Awesome. I'm speaking with our grade 9 teacher, Ms. Weigel. Uh, can you please tell us what grade 9 courses you teach? Uh, this year, I'm teaching grade 9 math. And is there something you could share with us about yourself? Um, so, one of the uh, best jobs that I ever had, other than teaching, was working on a bee farm. Um, it was super fascinating, and I love insects now. Uh, what's the best thing about Bird Church, or something our grade 9s can look forward to? Um, I love that you can meet a new person every single day at this school. Uh, there are over a thousand people here, and they all have different ideas than you and cool things to share. And who's been a role model for you and why? Um, my father has always been my role model. Um, he recently retired, and now he is using his time to help other people. And I just really think that's awesome. Awesome. Thank you, Ms. Weigel. No now back to the newsroom. It was great meeting you, Ms. Weigel. Back to visit another teacher is Matt. Thank you. I'm here with Mr. Sarah. So what do you teach here at Bird Church High School? So I'm a, uh, one of the phys ed teachers here at Bird Church as well as the athletic director. Do you do anything extra for the school? <laughs> yes, I am also involved with the golf program, track and field, uh, sometimes volleyball, the uh, senior boys basketball program as well as the junior boys basketball program. Who has been a role model for you this past year and why? The past year? I'd have to say my wife. Uh, she's an example of great compassion and caring. She uh, gives a lot of service to others. She just has a great attitude about it. It's hard not to be infectious and contagious. Is there anything you'd like to share about yourself? You know what? Um, I've just been a teacher here at the school for 21 years. Um, Mr. Kirk is a grandpa here at the school, and I'm um, close behind him. <laughs> is there anything you can tell our grade nines something special about Bird Church? You know what? Make Bird Church what you want it to be. There's a ton of stuff that you can get involved in. Um, we have a great community of teachers, staff, Students, there's extracurricular, there's clubs, there's teachers who are willing to reach out to you if you want to reach out to them. Thank you, Mr. Sarah. Back You're to welcome. you guys. We would like to welcome our grade 9 admin team, Mrs. Cumberland and Ms. Teamstra. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell us something about yourself? Sure. I'm just going into my second year of administration at Burt Church High School. This year I will be looking after the grade 9s along with Ms. Teamstra. Um, a fun tidbit about myself, I've been teaching for 30 years, I've also been riding a motorcycle to work for the last 30 years, but I just had to sell my bike two years ago to pay for my master's program. Miss Teamstra, we understand that you are the grade level counselor for grade 9. What exactly does this mean? Yes, I can be a bit confusing. So I do lots of things at the school and I wear lots of different hats. So one of the hats that I wear Ooh, good choice. <laughs> is my academic hat. So you come to me for any of your academic concerns, your scheduling, um, or sorry, you don't know what you're doing in class, you're having trouble with a teacher, you're finding math too hard, um, you don't know how to study, all of those academic concerns, I wear that hat. Oh, excellent choice. This is my relationship hat. Your relationships are falling apart. Your mom, your dad, your siblings, your best friend, your teacher, your grandparent, your boyfriend or girlfriend, all the relationship stuff. I wear that hat. Oh, 
a new hat for you. I run groups, fun groups, lots of times during flex and at lunchtime. And sometimes I come in and I do in-class presentations. I will bring this hat. That's rich. Thank you. Last hack. The other thing I do is a lot of scheduling. So your timetable and how to read it properly. And if you want different options, or once you get into high school and you want to do summer school, or you need to retake a class, or you need to know what classes you need to go on to university for a career that you want, this is that. Those are the kinds of things I do. Miss Cumberland, do you have a final bit of advice that you could offer for the incoming grade nine class? Yes, I think if I had one thing to say to you, I would say be open to trying new things. Uh, there are lots of teams, clubs, groups at Bird Church High School. Be willing to open yourself up to trying new things. Looks like it's time to meet another teacher. Thank you guys. I'm back again with another grade nine teacher, Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones, would you like to tell us what grade nine courses you teach? Um, I'm teaching Science 9 this year and I also teach Leadership 9 throughout the year. Awesome. Uh, do you coach or sponsor any clubs at our school? Yeah, uh, I sponsor the Leadership uh, Student Union uh, throughout the year and we do a lot of fun things throughout making our school a great place. Awesome. Uh, is there something you could share with us about yourself? Uh, I am a really big comic book nerd. Um, I like making costumes based off comic book characters like Star Wars and Spider-Man. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, uh, what's the best thing about Bird Church? Uh, the best thing about Bird Church is the staff and the students that are here. They make this place what it is. Alright, um, and then who has been a role model for you in the past year? Uh, my wife. Uh, with everything that's happened in the past year, she, she's been working on a COVID unit, um, going to work every day, keeping a brave face and trying to make things safe for everybody. That's awesome. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Now back to our anchor desk. Thank you guys. I'm back with our next grade nine teacher of the day. Can you please tell us your name and what courses you teach? Hi, I'm Cynthia Dow and I will be teaching Workplace Readiness 9. Awesome. Uh, do you sponsor or coach any clubs at the school? Yes, I'm one of the coaches for Unified Sports. Ooh. Is there something you'd like to share, us, uh, share with us about yourself? So a little about me is I've been teaching here for 15 years and I love, since it's summertime right now and into the fall, going bike riding and gardening. That's awesome. Uh, what's the best thing about Bird Church or something our grade nine should look forward to? Oh, you're going to look forward to, as I said, I sponsor Unified Sports, coming out and joining our Unified Sports team. We play bocce ball, bing bang toss, basketball, we do track and field. It's a fun time for everybody. Awesome. Um, who has been your role model for the past year and why? Uh, my role model has always been my mother. She's a retired teacher. She continues to inspire me to connect with students and just love teaching and enjoy coming to school every day. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, thank you so much. Now back to our anchor desk for introducing us to Miss Dahl. Our next report comes to us from Liam. Take it away, Liam. Thanks, guys. Now speaking with our grade 9 teacher, Miss Stashnik. Uh, what grade 9 courses do you teach? I teach Math 9. I am teaching two sections of it next year, and I'm really looking forward to meeting our new grade 9s. Do you sponsor a club or team at the school? I do. I run the yearbook club and we really need some extra kids to come in and help us out. So hopefully some grade nines will join us. Uh, it runs from June or September to June. Um, so please come on out and help us out with the yearbook. What's something that you can tell us about yourself? Um, even though I teach grade nine math, I actually struggled with math. It was challenging for me and I needed a lot of help. So I really hope that if you have any trouble with math that you will be willing to ask for help because it really does um, you know, benefit your learning if you can ask for help because I know that that helped me. And what's the best thing about Bird Church or something for our grade nines to look forward to? Uh, I think the best thing about our building is the people in it. Our students and our staff are amazing and supportive and fun and we have so many great things that happen in this building so I can't encourage you more to get involved and go to games and join a club or start a club if there's one you want to um, participate in that we don't have. We have so much going on at this school and we have a really great um, group of people in it. Who's been a role model for you in the past year and why? The past year? Um, I think I would say Dr. Hinshaw. I think she um, demonstrated an amazing grace under pressure. I think she was articulate and she could communicate 
um, with the public on what was going on during COVID. Uh, I really respect her and admire her for her strong um, presence during a really scary and uncertain time. Okay. Uh, thank you, Ms. Stashnik. Now back to the newsroom. Thanks, Liam. Thank you, Liam, for introducing us to Ms. Stashniak. We are going to throw it over to Matt with the next educator. Thank you, Alison Tristan. I'm here with Mr. Dorner. So what do you teach here at Bird Church? I am the music teacher here at Bird Church. So I teach all the band classes, the qu choir, jazz band, and guitar, ukulele, bass, all that stuff. Everything to do with music is done through me. Is there something you could share the grade nines about yourself? Uh, this, is, this will be my fifth year at this school, and my son is joining you as one of the grade nines, so that's exciting. Um, I am also a professional musician. I play piano for money, so that's nice. <laughs> what is the best thing about Bird Church that you can tell our grade nines about? The best thing about Bird Church is the community within Bird Church. From the teachers all the way down to the students, everybody cares about everybody. It's awesome. Who's been a role model for you in this past year and why? Who's been a role model for me this past year? I would have to say Mr. Kirk. <laughs> he has the most school spirit out of anybody I've seen aside from Mr. Sarah's golf pants. Yeah, of course. But Mr. Kirk is up here. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Garner. Looks like it's time to meet another teacher with Denithi. Uh, I'm here with Ms. Smarter, another one of our grade 9 teachers. Uh, can you tell us what courses that you teach? I'll be teaching grade 9 physical education. Awesome. Uh, do you coach or sponsor any of the teams? Here? I coach the senior girls volleyball team and badminton. Ooh, okay. Is there something you could share with us about yourself? I'm currently in school as well. I'm doing my strength and conditioning certification. Awesome. Uh, what is the best thing about Bird Church? Mr. Kirk. We are desk buddies. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Who has been your role model for the past year? My role model would be my dad. He is a lifelong learner and I try to follow in his footsteps. That's awesome. Thank you, Ms. Smarter. Now back to our anchor desk. Thank you, Denithi, for introducing us to Ms. Smarter. Let's move on to Grace. Thanks again, Alice and Tristan. So, can you please tell us your name and what grade 9 courses you're going to be teaching? Hi, I'm Elizabeth Hall and I am the Science 9 and Health 9 teacher and at lunch I'm the cashier at the Culinary Arts Kitchen. Uh, is there something interesting you could share with us about yourself? Um, I have three kids and I have been teaching in Rocky View for 15 years and so I've taught everything from grade 7 to 12. Uh, what is the best thing about Bird Church that our grade 9s can look forward to? Uh, we have a great group of kids and we have lots of activities and it's a lot of fun and a great place to be. Uh, in the past year, who has been a role model for you? I'm a big fan of Chris Hatfield who is a Canadian ast astronaut and we do space in grade 9, so it's lots of fun. Yeah, we love space. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Lal. Now, over to Mr. Wilsden. Hello, Mr. Wilsden. What Hi grade there. 9 courses are you going to be teaching next year? I'm a grade 9 social studies teacher. <laughs> uh, is there something interesting you could share with us about yourself? Well, um, this is my 21st year at the school. I've, uh, I've taught four different groups of grade 9s from grade 9 to grade 12 in TA. and uh, So this year I'll be getting a new grade 9 class and um, I'll be taking them for the next four years. Yeah, hopefully you'll be able to see them all the way through. Yeah. Uh, so in your opinion, what is the best thing that grade 9s can look forward to about Burt Church? I think the teachers here are really good. Um, they're all very interesting and, and loving people, and uh, I really enjoy working with them, and I hope you enjoy having them as your teachers. Yeah. Uh, who has been a role model for you in the past year? My role model in this year has been our administration. Our administrators have done a really good job of keeping the school going and keeping everybody organized. Yeah, they've so. kept everything run smoothly. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Wilsden. Now back to our anchor desk. Thank you, guys. I'm here with Mr. Nordoff. Uh, Mr. Nordoff, can you please tell us uh, what courses you teach? Bonjour tout le monde. Uh, hi there. So if you can't tell from that, um, I'm Mr. Nordoff and I do teach French. So we have French 9, 10, 20, 30 here at Bird Church. I also teach, um, I think next year I have Phys Ed 9, so I will see some of you in Phys Ed 9. And I teach Calm for grade 10s and sometimes I do social studies. Awesome. Uh, do you sponsor coaching? Clubs Sponsor, coach, clubs, no, but I do help with the running of BCI, uh, Bird Church Invitational, the big basketball tournament that we have prior to Christmas, so I'm heavily involved with that. Awesome. 
Uh, is there something you could share about yourself? Like the interesting fact. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> Mr. Nordoff, if you look behind, I'm not sure how much you can see, he has a wall of fame. And in my classes, students, some of them get very motivated to produce work or, or whatever kind of deals with me to try to get on the wall of fame. Um, I'm not sure, so, sure sort of how it came about to this. Um, I didn't think it would ever be that big of a deal, but some kids really um, prioritize it and try to, to do some really great work in class to get put on, on the Hall of Fame. So that's sort of a little, little interesting fact about me in the classroom. That's awesome. Uh, what's the best thing about Burton Church? Um, outside of sort of the students and an awesome staff that we have here, I think we have wonderful facilities. So if you look at sort of like the commercial kitchen and we can produce really good lunches for kids, we have um, a theater for our drama program. We have a huge music room. We have an automotive shop. Um, we have gym. We also have um, access to Genesis Place um, for our cassette. So we have a lot of really good things with the building along with the awesome people that are here. Awesome. Um, and then who has been your role model for the past year? So I don't know if it's a personal role model or just somebody who we can look at as a role model. Um, is that when you look globally, um, what Greta Thunberg's done in the last year in terms of looking at um, global warming and the impact on the environment and how she's been supported by some but also opposed by certain countries and certain companies to stand up to that for something that you believe in and especially for something that teenagers and kids can relate to. I think that would definitely fall into like she's been, been sort of a role model. That's awesome. Uh, thank you Mr. Nordoff and back to the anchor desk. Looks like it's time to meet another teacher with Liam. Perfect. I'm here with Miss Kissinger. Uh, what grade 9 courses do you teach? I teach Robotics 9. And is there something you could share with us about yourself? Um, my fun fact is that I went to the first Raptors game ever, the first home game ever back in 1995. Crazy. What is the best thing about Bird Church or something for our grade 9 students to look forward to? Uh, I think one thing that Bird Church has that's really great is a lot of options. So you have mechanics, or you have robotics, you have woodshop, you have Cosmo, there's so many things for you to do. Um, and clubs and sports and all that. There's lots. Something for everyone. Uh, who's been a role model to you and why? Um, I'd have to pick Mindy Kaling. She's really great. She, she's weird in the office, but she also like produced and wrote a bunch of stuff and she like donated to 40 charities for her 40th birthday. She's just phenomenal. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Kissinger. Now back to the newsroom. Presenting the Bird Church High School Top 10 list. Today's topic everything you should know as a new student at Birch Church High School. Number 10. The trees are real. Please be kind to them. Number 9. Our stairs are very steep, so please be careful. Number 8. Don't leave valuables in the change rooms. Number 7. Come with your friends and support Charger games and school performances. Number 6. Make sure you sign up for Flexbox because they fill up quickly. Number five, time management is important in high school. Number four, take the time to get to know new people and help one another. Number three, bathrooms are not a place to hang out with your friends. Number two, our teachers are super helpful, so don't be afraid to ask questions. Number, no, number, number one. one. You are a Charger for four years, so the more engaged you are in school activities, the more you will love being a Charger. 